Tavern. The stereotypical name associated with rude, obnoxious, and insufferable middle-aged women. AKA my worst enemy. I hate Karens. I honestly hate Karens with a passion. They're the worst. Now I've trolled Karens on my second channel through Facebook, but today we're gonna take it one step further by finding some in real life. Now, if there's one thing I've learned about Karens, the one thing they hate more than anything is face masks. Coronavirus Karen. No, I'm not gonna put it on. I'm not gonna do this. You must wear a mask. I don't wear a mask for the same reason I don't wear underwear. And these Karens are so passionate about their hate for face masks that they complain about it. They cause destruction about it. And they even protest about it. So today we're going undercover to one of these protests to find the Karens in real life and confront them. Now the first step was to find out where these protests were. Okay, so, so I'm on my Facebook right now and luckily for me, in my video where I joined anti-mask groups on my second channel, a lot of them accepted me. As you can see, literally all of these groups I'm in. So the good news is we've already infiltrated the groups. Now all we need to do is to find out where the next event is. So I made the post asking when the next protest was and post. And pretty quickly we got some responses. This person replied with a photo showing this protest at King's Cross on the 28th of November. That's in just over a week. We've got just over a week to prepare for this. This person replied think 18 people got arrested five days ago in a march in London. Arrested? I I'm not trying to get arrested. <laughs> this may be a bit more dangerous than I thought. The post literally said this is going to be the biggest anti-mask protest yet. So with just a week to prepare it was time to get ready. So first off I needed a cameraman so I called my friend Finn. Finn, do you want to go to an anti-mask protest? No, not really. Yeah, he wasn't that keen. But we eventually convinced him. Come on, Finn. Yeah, let's go. I then made some fake news articles to show the Karens. From Greg's putting face masks on their gingerbread men. To Trump saying face masks are causing ligma. You know, the really dangerous disease. I then did some research into anti-mask protests to see what they're like. <laughs> and I found this. As you can see, they're literally singing she'll be coming around the mountain, but the anti-mask version. It seemed like they were all having fun. I wasn't worried. However, no amount of research could have prepared me for what I was about to experience on this day. So I woke up early. I was excited about the big day ahead. I couldn't wait to sing nursery rhymes with people not wearing masks. So I got ready, but very quickly, it all started going wrong. Okay, update. I was about to leave. As you can see, I'm literally in my coat. And I checked the Facebook page to make sure everything's fine. It's not fine. Move, move, move. King's Cross arrests already. New location announced at 11.30. It's now 12 o'clock. And the new location is Marble Art. And it says 12.30 March. That's literally in less than 30 minutes. I, I thought this was kind of a joke. This is clearly not a joke. I need to leave literally right now. So I did. I left my house and I... I ran all the way to the station. I then got on a train and I actually found a live stream of the actual protest so I could see exactly what was going on, which to what I saw was a, a kind of Santa costume. Santa, please, not you too. But eventually we arrived and it was time to go and meet Finn and Jay. Okay, so I'm at Warren Street now. But I need to meet Finn. I don't know where he is. So I called Finn to find out where he was so I could meet him. And then he told me this. George, George, there's loads of armed police vans in, tr in threes. There's three just gone past now. He just clicked on the live stream again and it's chaos. There's so many police. There. All right, I'm, I'm heading to, to going. yeah, I'm heading to you right now. This was a race against time. I had to get there before everyone got arrested. So I ran and I ran all the way to Finn. All right, guys, guys, guys. I've been on the train. I haven't been able to see the live stream. What, what's right, going on? First of all, we've seen nine police cars. I think they were armed police cars. Don't be right, man. Driving down here, which is the way to sort of go. And then we clicked on the live streams and then like, the same sort of police were all like around. There was a guy dressed as Santa. Yeah, I saw, I saw him. him. Arrested. I saw, arrested. They, they circled him with like 40 officers. And mate, Santa's gone. Santa's gone. Santa's been arrested, mate. His beard was falling off. <laughs> <laughs> Christmas is cancelled. Now, as funny as it was to talk about Santa being arrested, out of all of the people, we had to try and find the protest. So we ran around chasing the live stream, trying to recognise where they were and to try and intercept and to find We're them. at Otter Street now. There is literally... Do you see how many police cars there are? So we headed into the crowd, but somehow ended up in a fashion show. I think this is somewhere else. They've got paparazzi. Here. So we asked the police for help, and they told us this. Where is, where is the protest happening? It's Oh. So once again, we were chasing the live stream. Oh, Finn, do you know where that is? Yeah, that's Piccadilly Circle. Okay, let's go. So we quickly made our way there, and on the way, we found our first Karen, and she was live streaming. So you know, I had to get on it. Let's go. London, fight for freedom, people. Fight for freedom every day, every week. Let's go, champ. Yes, that's right. I just dropped Let's Go Champ on an anti mask live stream. Don't ask me why that was the first thing that came to my mind. But she believed me. She thought I was one of them. Despite wearing a mask, we were in and we were fully undercover. And then she let me know what she thought. 2020. Yeah. We are now in a dystopian nightmare. Well, warned us about. 
and there's too many people still asleep. You've got to wake up to the reality. Wake up and smell the flowers. They want to reduce us. Yeah, that's right. This Karen was absolutely waffling, but I had to agree to make her think I was on her side. And then in true Karen fashion, she went and stood in the middle of the road. Oh, there she is. Hey. I was speechless. These Karens were literally going wild. We had to find more. So we looked around and it was chaos. People were getting arrested. She's getting arrested. What is it that's going on? Protests, anti mask protests. Did she get arrested for that? People were running, the police were running, so I started running. I didn't want to be left out, okay? However, clearly I was too fast and I got left on my own and these people started shouting at me to take my mask off. Why should I take the mask off? Why not? This man really just said, why not? Hmm, I don't know, maybe because we're in a pandemic, Karen. Oh wait, actually, what is a male Karen called? Ian. Because we're in a pandemic, Ian. But I didn't say that to her face because there was about five of them and just one of me. So I did what anyone would do. I pretended they were right. I'll think about it, guys. And I ran away. Uh, this is scary. They told me to take my mask off. What did you say? I said, why? And they said, why not? <laughs> so once we regrouped, we went back out on the search for Karen. And we finally found the mark. And then somehow we ended up getting dragged into the middle of it. How have we literally become part of the protest? This wasn't the plan. What was going on? I felt like I was in a scene of Braveheart. I was in the middle of an anti-mask protest wearing a mask. I was just trying to find some Garen. But it was all worth it because we got to hear this line. We are the 99%. We are the 99%. After that, we managed to break away from the group and find ourselves another Garen. Are you anti-mask? Yes. Is that why you're here today to protest wearing masks? Um, the Protest and lockdown. Do you not think it's for the best? No. No? Why is it not for the best? There is no reason to lock people up, especially young people. How many young people have died? How many? I don't know. Do you reckon, are you, wait, can I ask you a question? So, a few hundred. ladies and gentlemen, we've caught a big one. Karen alert. I was literally trying to talk to her and she just kept interrupting me and trying to go for Finn. Literally, she did it seven times. I've never been scared of coronavirus. Oh. It's just a flu and I've never had the flu. But and it, why don't you agree with masks? it's not been proved. We've never worn a mask for flu. See, that's where you're wrong, Karen. With one quick Google search, the history of face masks. We can see a brief history of medical masks over the last 400 years. So, 17th century Europe, during the plague, people wore masks. I mean, look at it this way. They could be asking you to wear this. I mean, maybe then I would protest. 1910, an epidemic of pneumonic plague hit China. And people wore masks. 1918, the global flu epidemic. People wore masks. It was mandatory as well. Literally, if you didn't wear one, you would go to jail. But carry on, Karen, please. How about you? think it is pretty bad no. i mean start looking at the figures who's making the money follow the money bill gates check him out who is bill gates he made microsoft the... he's made billions do you think they're so... gonna chip you if you have the vaccine uh it will come eventually why do you think they want to track you control you don't value freedom do you i think i do but it depends oh, wait, no you don't look at you you're in the street wearing a mask for God's sake. She really just said, look at me. She's literally roasting me for wearing a mask. Look at me. Look at you, Garrett. Masks, do you they hurt you? Yeah, I can't wear one. Why? I start walking into she can't wear a mask because she starts walking into things. I'm not really sure how that's possible unless you're wearing it over your eyes. I had enough of this Karen's nonsense, so I tried to end Thanks the interview. Thank you for your time. You're Do knowledge, some yeah. research. But she really just kept going and going and going. So I tried to stop her again. So do you think... Uh, these are people who put their... And once again, she ignored me and just kept going. Literally, I sped this up so much, the original footage is like 10 minutes long. Of her just rambling on about face masks. So I tried to end one more time. All right. Do some research. And again, more waffle. I respect people who... Oh, Karen, when? When did I ask? The interview's over. Why are you still going? And she then ended the interview by telling us to take our masks okay. off. Take your masks off. Now, after this, we literally lost the whole protest. We were standing there for so long because she just kept going on. Let's go down there. Let's go down there. So we were once again chasing the live stream. All right, so we've broken away from the crowds now. We're just walking down the street. That woman waffled on a long time. You can say that again, James. But she wasn't going to stop us. We kept following the live stream. We were getting close, we started seeing arrests. I saw a guy on a bike shouting through a megaphone. 
I felt like I was at the circus. But eventually we caught back up with the protest and things had escalated a lot since we were gone. All right, let's go have a look. So it's all kicking off over here. I'm hearing a lot of shouting. You ask her what's going on. Excuse me, do you know what's going on here? No. Doesn't know. Well, very quickly, we found out. The police were arresting someone who wasn't wearing a mask and everyone went insane. The police are moving. I don't want to get arrested. They're shouting at the police. I don't know what's going on. Ah, there's police everywhere. This is literally insane. They're surrounding the police just because they don't want to wear masks. What the hell? <laughs> she wants to charge at them. Do you want to tell us about what you just saw? Who are you? They're wearing masks. I wouldn't bother with them. I mean, we're yeah, just... Why are you wearing masks? Why are you wearing masks? We have to for a project. We're here to be... We're completely in the What project? project? The young guys. It's just... You can defy. Where's the youth for rebellion? I mean, come on. Yeah, you come on. You shouldn't be doing that. And you know what? what? There's plenty of cops filming us as well, so we don't know who you are. What? Who do you think we are? We're just people. This was getting out of control. People thought I was an undercover police officer just because I was wearing a mask. But somehow things just kept escalating. There is smoke, fire. This is a hazard. Where is the social distancing? I came to interview people as a joke. I came to look for Karen. And there's fire. There's police. People getting arrested. I did not sign up for this. Everything was so crazy. We forgot about our main goal here. To find Karen. It was time to find some. Hello, would you like to give your opinion on what's going on today? We're trying to protest and the police are breaking up the protest because they do not want people in numbers. You don't think the masks are any help at all? No. no. Well, on that note, it was time to get out the fake news. We just got some articles from online. Uh, you've probably seen them already. So obviously we've got, we've got uh, obviously Donald Trump saying that cases of ligma in the US are rising yeah. due, to, due to the, the masks, like the particles and whatnot. Yeah. Exactly. Um, I mean, you've seen this sort of stuff. Yeah, uh, honest, I, I cried when Biden supposedly got elected. He's not been elected. Yeah, and I don't think Biden is also funding research into Ligma. Coronavirus really isn't the fear. The real fear should be, you know, the Ligma potential. Actually, Twitch streamer and YouTuber Ninja, he actually did get Ligma. It's not confirmed if it was obviously from the mask or... They won't admit that it's from the mask. No. That's the thing, you see. That, that again, would be a cover-up. This Karen was agreeing with everything I was saying yeah. about a fake disease. They really do believe everything you tell them. Speaking of Ligma, make sure you like the video to protect yourself from Ligma. Rumor has it that liking this video is the only protection you can get. Do it now because this video is about to get even more crazy than it's already been. So we went around showing the other anti-maskers the fake news to see what they thought about it. And we were done. We were ready to go home. So we quickly went to get a thumbnail. But the word had spread about my fake news. Do you want to explain? Wait, is it recording? The mask will start, you know what I mean? You're yeah. no journalist, you fake news, obviously. You know what I mean? Talking sh take your mask off, because otherwise you don't blend in, do you? You're gonna blend in with people like this, you can see far, far left, don't you? Fair enough. I mean, we're just asking everyone's opinion today. This guy was coming with hostility, then his friend came and started filming me for some reason. I don't know why. But I just tried to calm the situation down. I wasn't about to fight over Ligma. Without di being disrespectful, no problem, take the f***ing mask off, man. Hey. We're here causing, you know, we're peace, man. We're linking arms, we're meeting new people. Yeah. This guy said he was peaceful. He seemed nice, he seemed normal. And then I remembered we're at an anti-mask protest. No one here is normal. Honestly, just listen to some of the stuff this guy said. Yeah, this no, is I agree. I Germany. agree. If Pete. it was BLM, would stay away. They destruct things. They pull statues down. Think about when the men take to the streets. Look at what the mainstream isn't showing you. The public are killing police officers. We're just behind, man. Yeah, not sure where the peace went. And then he left by saying this. Wait, wait till the bloodshed. There's going to be bloodshed. No revolution without bloodshed, boys. He it did just say their you. blood was going to get shed and they were very aggressive towards me. I wasn't quite sure what he meant by that, if it was my blood that was going to get shed. All I knew that it was now time to leave. On the day of the protest, there was a total of 155 arrests. They should have just worn a mask, really, shouldn't they? I did have a brand deal for this video, however, the brand actually dropped out because they said it was too controversial. They were scared of the anti-maskers. Anti-maskers can take our streets. They can take our masks. But they can't take my brand deal. This started with just me versus Karen's. However, this has now evolved. It's now the George Mason Nation versus anti-maskers. So this now means war. To show support to the George Mason Nation, please like the video, guys. Let's say if we get 50,000 likes on this video, I'll go back to do a part two. I really don't want to go back. But if we get 50,000 likes, I'll do it for you guys. Finally, if you want to see more videos from me, make sure you subscribe if you're not already. And also check out my second channel. I upload there weekly. So if you want to see that, link will be in the description. But yeah, guys, if you enjoyed Mason TV, if you enjoyed, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. It's been George Mason over and out. Oh, did someone say catfish? Yeah, that's me. I look six foot, but I'm five, five foot three. Take a look at my Insta, and you might see a model, a rich kid, but that's not me.